What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. The book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also to ask me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. This video is entitled How Have Black Men Oppressed Black Women? And I was looking, you know, and shout out to Edward Anderson. He caused this because he asked the question I saw on his live to a sister about how have black men used the government uh, to make sure black women are oppressed. And I thought about that. And you're free, feel free to answer these questions because I don't know. So I looked up oppression, you know. The defin one of the definitions, prolonged, cruel, or unjust treatment or control. A state of being subject to unjust treatment or control. Mental pressure or distress. Uh, what is an example of oppression? For example, a parent who locks a child in a closet could, could be said to be oppressing that child. Slavery. The refusal to allow women to inherit and own property. Now, I... And denial of equal rights to people with disabilities, and an, and and the in and the involuntary commitment of people to deviate from social norms are all examples of oppression. Now, what's interesting about this? It said slavery, the refusal to allow women to inherit property. You know that really took the racial element out of that, right? It really took the the black male element out of that slavery. Women. Okay, interesting. But let's go with this. I'm, I'm on Google right now. But what are the types of oppression? There are four predominant social hierarchies, race, class, gender, and sexuality that contribute to social oppression. Privilege. So how have, so let's do with this one. How have black men stopped black women from having privileges? Because constant. I think black women are black people are supposed to be a protected group in America, but I think black women are a protected group in America. So and they can be a double minority. So how did black men stop you from getting privilege? Racial oppression. Okay, how have black men racially oppressed black women? Class oppression. How have black men? Stop black women from getting to a higher class. Gender oppression. I guess this would be, you know, how have black women, black men, you know, controlled, oh, let, let, let me go back, you know, have prolonged cruelty and unjust treatment and control to black women. Sexuality oppression, I don't know what the fuck that is. Because I think we're, you know, I think sexual liberation was in the 60s with the civil rights movement. So I, I'm not too sure about what happened before that. I'm not even going to lie. Religious persecution. Mm, let me see. How have black men religiously persecuted black women? Age oppression. I don't know. Know about that one. I, I'm, we oppress people because of their age, I guess. One thing could be called parenting The other thing could be called Taking care of the elderly I don't know how that's oppression but Or you know you can't hire somebody because Of their age maybe I, I You know That's fine uh, Domination You know how have black men dominated Black women um, The reason I ask these questions Is you know Sisters have the the, 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 the saying that, you know, black men have oppressed black women because, were black women able to inherit property? Yes. Were black women able to work? Yes. Were black women able to make money? Yes. Were black women able to, if chose, if they wanted to be just a, a homemaker, were they able to do that? To choose that? Yes. Black, did black men stop them from that? No. Um, and, and, you know, I'm talking. I'm talking in general terms. I'm not talking about a story with somebody's grandmother or the color purple, or and even they inherited stuff in the color purple. But you know, whatever. And even they wind up ha having their own choice, and you know they were getting uh, 
Whoopi Goldberg was getting treated cruelly. But uh, I think, you know, Oprah's character was always trying to, was fighting people anyway. <laughs> so I, I think she was probably more of the aggressor in that movie, but that's a whole other story. But how have black men held black women back financially? I mean, you know, you know, last time I checked, you know, go to school, get your education. You know, black men were funding that too, you know. You know, black men were putting women through school. They there are still movies with some with black actresses that 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 are out today about how you know what was the one when the father was a janitor and he and 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 he put the girl the daughter through school and subsequently they started using the money to put each girl through school. I mean, that's not oppression. I mean, they made a movie about it, but whatever. Um, I mean, uh, you know, because what they were talking about was the bringing the government into play and, you know, um, have black men stopped black women from getting hired? Um, have black men stopped black women from, uh, how can I say this, starting a business? Because, I mean, you know, Ida B. Wells, I think, comes up, you know, when we talk about black business, Eat from from the re fresh out of slavery and Reconstruction age, they were, they were you know black female millionaire. I know I know we doing things, but you know I don't try to reach for straws and stuff. But even in the civil rights movement, weren't they black women who were business owners? Weren't they black women who were educated? And the thing about it, I'm I'm separating uh, American. Oppression that caused white women to, to go from feminism, go to feminism with, with black women because black women and white women have a completely different experience in America, even as women. So, if if and I don't want to put in a situation where because a white woman uh, got oppressed by a white man or a black woman got oppressed by a white man, all of a sudden black men oppress black women? What, 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 how did black men oppress black women? How have black men held you back in America? How have black men stopped you from getting ahead in America? Where, was, where is it taught in the black household to make sure the girls don't do it, you know, don't fulfill their dreams and aspirations? Where is it taught? Where have you been, uh, you know what, subjugated? You know, maybe, maybe, because, because to subjugate, to bring under domination or control, especially by conquest, that's subjugate, right? So, make someone or something subordinate to you, you know, when have black men made women subordinate to us? Just, you know, because you won't submit because submission is like slavery. So submission is an act that you did on your own. So to force submission would be to to subjugate, right? So when have black men subjugated black women? How have black women sub black men subjugated black women? And because I'm I'm trying to figure out what was done, like historically, not you know. Let, let's talk about things that actually happened. You know, um, that were widespread because. To me, uh, the oppression and subjugation, even even in the midst of these ladies having immense freedom and opportunity, I, I can't, where did black men stop that? It's Black History Month. So, you know, where is that a part of black history? That black men were doing, were doing things to make sure black women didn't get ahead. Where? You know, I, I don't understand this. Because ain't I a woman, that was in front of white people. That was talking to white people. You know, um, the women's movements, that was really for white people. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think about the civil rights era. Uh, black people was in the civil rights er, civil rights movement. Hispanics sat out the civil rights movement. Women hitched their their wagon to the civil rights movement to be with, white women hitched their wagon to be with black women. Asians set out the civil rights movement. 
I'm just saying. You know, Native Americans set up the Civil Rights Movement. So, and, so it was a family thing. When has the black, you know, and, and speaking of family, when, how has black men in the black family uh, uh, um, oppressed black women? You know, because you're going to say guys were abusive as if women weren't abusive, like, the same stories you can have about guys in your family doing things. I have the same story about women in my family doing the same things. So is that was that oppression, subjugation, fighting, which what you want to call it? So I'm just curious question. Can I get an answer? Peace.